Tragic events like the assassination of two presidents during motorcades have made the Secret Service very cautious about presidential transportation. Since President Kennedy's assassination, the National Security Agency has made security a top priority for presidential travel, which comes at a significant cost to taxpayers. The presidential motorcade, a symbol of this careful planning, is the most visible aspect of the president's travel. Other important parts of this operation work behind the scenes, away from public view. The presidential motorcade is quite a sight to behold, consisting of more than 50 vehicles and 100 personnel. It's the world's second most securely protected mode of transportation. While President Biden can't build a private road from his home to the Oval Office, Vladimir Putin's daily commute has far fewer risks. Nevertheless, the complexity of this convoy, always by the US president's side, is unmatched. This team plays a crucial role in keeping the commander-in-chief safe, following him everywhere, whether it's within the US or on foreign soil. Yet there's a significant challenge that sets the United States apart from most other nations. The vast oceans that separate it. Cars don't work well on water, so the National Security Agency has come up with an ingenious solution. They fly the entire motorcade, all 50 vehicles, to accompany the president on international trips. This allows other countries to witness this impressive show of power. It's a bit like a circus coming to town, although a much more intimidating one, with snipers and armed guards instead of clowns and acrobats. Most people prefer to watch from a distance. The logistics of this operation are anything but simple. The Secret Service uses a Boeing C-17 Globemaster cargo plane for this enormous task. This massive aircraft, lacking the comforts of commercial flights, costs around $340 million, not including the additional defense systems. While the President flies separately on Air Force One, the Globemaster becomes a utilitarian cargo plane tasked with transporting what's probably the world's most extravagant parade. Naturally, this arrangement significantly increases the cost of each presidential journey. If you're not one for shocking expenses, you might want to skip the details about the price tag of these global travels. So how much do the taxpayers pay for these presidential trips? As mentioned earlier, the president travels in a highly customized Boeing VC-25A, similar to a Boeing 747. The commander-in-chief has not one but two of these planes, with each base model costing over $325 million. The presidential versions are even more luxurious, featuring comfortable leather seats and state-of-the-art defense systems. This elevates the cost to an estimated range of between $600 and $800 million. The specifics of these defense capabilities are classified, so the exact cost is unknown. During Donald Trump's time in office, the Secret Service ordered two new Boeing 7478 aircraft, customized to the president's needs with lavish interiors. Just the cost of these planes alone set American taxpayers back at least $4 billion. When you factor in the planes, the extensive vehicle fleet, and the security escorts during his travel, it's clear that these excursions are far from frugal. Even the Sultan of Brunei, known for spending $20,000 on a haircut, would probably raise an eyebrow at such expenses. To put it in perspective, the administration spends $2,614 for every minute the president is away from the Oval Office, whether in the air or on the ground. It's a staggering amount, almost like watching money disappear when the commander-in-chief isn't at his desk. The organization of the motorcade is a carefully planned defense strategy where each vehicle and team member has a specific role. At the front, you'll find the lead car, sometimes replaced by a motorcycle. However, the first car to secure the area when the president is on the move is the route car. It goes about five minutes ahead of the motorcade to ensure the route is safe and to prevent any large-scale threats. This proactive approach reduces the opportunity for coordinated attacks, effectively stopping planned ambushes before they happen. Following the route car, a group of 20 to 30 motorcycles takes charge. Their main job is to clear all other vehicles from the president's path. They block off access points to the planned route and skillfully navigate through traffic to make sure the president can move without any hindrance. 
It's worth noting that these first responders, responsible for closing off entire streets for the president, usually come from local police departments, not the Secret Service. After the pilot car, there are two more vehicles ready to take over as the lead car if needed. In the rear, several other important vehicles enhance the president's security. The car ID is the hub of the motorcade, staying in touch with external surveillance teams. Just behind it is the Hazardous Materials Mitigation Unit, a well-equipped truck with experts trained to detect and respond to chemical, biological, or nuclear threats against the motorcade. Further down the line, you'll find the Roadrunner, which acts as a mobile communication center. It ensures the motorcade stays connected to satellites, the internet, and other vital communications. There's also an ambulance, a support car, and right at the back, three to four patrol cars. Their job is to make sure that any vehicles approaching from intersecting roads keep a safe distance behind the motorcade. At the center of the motorcade, right behind the pilot cars, is the most important part, the secure package, where the president is. This group of vehicles can detach from the main motorcade if necessary, escorting the president to safety. Leading this formation is the U.S. Secret Service Electronic Countermeasure Suburban, which blocks incoming radio signals, making any remotely triggered explosives useless. The secure package also serves as the control center, transporting essential personnel like advisors and medical doctors. Completing the core group of the motorcade is the halfback, where the Commander-in-Chief's personal detail is and the vehicle carrying the counter-assault team. Without a doubt, the most crucial car in this formation is the President's limousine. But there are two nearly identical Cadillac limousines, one acting as a decoy. They switch positions continuously, making it impossible to tell which car carries the President. With matching details and even the same license plates, it's extremely challenging for potential adversaries to figure out which vehicle the President is in, keeping this critical information secret. The nickname Beast, given to the presidential limousine, isn't just an exaggeration. It's a well-deserved title because of its extraordinary defense features. This remarkable vehicle acts like a mobile fortress, ranking among the most secure places globally. Beyond its luxurious interior, this fancy limo is equipped with defense features that wouldn't be out of place in a James Bond movie. Despite its hefty weight, ranging from 15,000 to 20,000 pounds, the Beast provides outstanding comfort and fancy amenities. Called Cadillac One, this GM model is far from ordinary, and making another would cost around one and a half million dollars. The limo's armor, including eight inch thick plating and reinforced floor pallets, needed a modified truck frame for support, making the whole vehicle bulletproof. The windows themselves are a hefty five inches thick, capable of deflecting a .44 caliber Magnum bullet. All windows are sealed, with only the driver's window being able to open, a crucial feature in case of a chemical attack, keeping the president's compartment sealed off. To bolster its imposing appearance, the Beast is basically an arsenal itself. It has a range of weapons like a rocket launcher, night vision goggles, a tear gas cannon, shotguns, bottle oxygen, and even a supply of the president's blood. This isn't because the president is a vampire, but as a precaution in case of a serious injury, ensuring that the onboard medical staff has access to at least two compatible blood types. Thanks to its massive armored build, the limo is nearly soundproof. Communication mainly happens through the mobile communication center and strategically placed microphones outside, allowing the security teams inside the limo to stay alert even during an attack. Despite being a mobile fortress, the Cadillac One is also one of the most luxurious limos globally, though it's not a party limo with a fancy bar and disco lights. Instead, it's like a mobile Oval Office, a space where the president and guests can have political discussions, negotiations, or perhaps even chat about international news. Worth noting is that while the beast was first used during Donald Trump's presidency, it was commissioned by his predecessor, Barack Obama, so it doesn't have golden cup holders, diamond-studded seat buckles, or any flashy Trump branding on its sides. Instead, the beast is a remarkable testament to engineering and security. 
as you consider its features. Keep in mind that, as taxpayers, we contribute $2,614 per minute to ensure the president's comfort and safety. Do you think the next version of the beast could be smaller? Or do you think its current setup is necessary? If you like this video, click on the screen to watch other videos like this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell to get notified when we post a new video.